dreams can come true but there is a secret they are realized through the magic of persistence determination commitment passion practice focus and hard work they happen a step at a time manifested over years not weeks good afternoon and jai hind ladies and gentlemen before i go on to present before you the annual report for the academic session 2021-22 i take this opportunity to congratulate everyone associated with sunbeam for our golden jubilee year what a moment of happiness and pride they say that dreams do come true and sanbim bhagwanpur is a living example of the same way back in 1972 our founders mrs deesh ishrat madhok and dr amrit lal ishrat madhok planted a sapling called sanbim bhagwanpur which in course of time gave way to sibling branches taking root in the city sanbim annapurna sanbim lehar tara sanbim varuna sanbim mindira nagar sanbim sun city and our newest member sanbim sarnath sanbim college for women at bhagwanpur and sanbim women's college at varuna are the two colleges which have been established to fulfill the need of english medium girls college in varanasi and i take immense pride in placing on record that both the colleges are doing extremely well and in this 50th year of sanbim group sanbim college for women bhagwanpur has been accredited with a grade by nac and we cannot stop celebrating this mammoth achievement sanbim gramin school karsana is a philanthropic project of the group which imparts free education for over 30 years which helps underprivileged students to get world class education sanbim gramin school has been recognized as the best philanthropic school in uttar pradesh and has been conferred with samagra shiksha award by nabard sanbim educerve was established with a view to spread education to various parts of the country at present we have 18 knowledge partners spreading the flame of knowledge in different parts of uttar pradesh in addition to all this sanbim group has four hostels at bhagwanpur lehar tara varuna and sun city where we truly provide a home away from home talking about sanbim junior school let me tell you all that we at junior school firmly believe that proper education of the young kids does not consist in stuffing their heads with a mass of words sentences and ideas dragged together out of various authors but in opening up their understanding to the outer world so that living stream may flow from their own minds just as leaves flowers and fruits spring from a tree students are exposed to an array of activities ranging from sunfest kidsophrenia summer camp spring sports camp international kids film festival to various project presentations and educational tours which help in the overall development of the child and to give testimony to this I call upon Ms Shanaya a kindergarten student to present Sanbim Bhagwanpur through her lens Yes good afternoon and jai hind everyone i clearly remember my first day in kindergarten i was scared and didn't want to come to school because of course all my toys and games and big book of pictures was at home but then my teacher held my hand and took me to the toy library yes we have a toy library in my school at you know we have a kitchen corner and a set area also not only this i study maths with abu the doll and ganit mala oh it's super fun and for value education classes we have puppets who teach us the very lessons of life and you know at home we celebrate holi and diwali and i know the story behind these but now i also know that halloween is not to make the kids afraid in fact it is celebrated to overcome the fear of ghosts 
How do I know it? Well, that is because we celebrate all the festivals. Shehra, Eid, Diwali, Christmas and lots more. And yes, we study a lot too and also have so many quizzes like general quiz and spell me and we do rigorous practice for it. And you know, we have photos also that makes us musically intelligent. I have become a pro at keyboard now. Oh, well, my life is very busy at Sadhbi Bhagwanpur. Uh, but it is great fun too. Okay, okay. I have to go get ready for my event. Bye-bye. Well, that was kindergarten for you. Thank you, Shanaya. I now invite head girl Sanbeam Bhagwanpur, Ms. Ishita Mukherjee, to apprise us with the academic achievements of our school. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon in Jehin to this August congregation. It fills my heart with pride and joy to present this report on all that Sanbeam Bhagwanpur has accomplished this past year and all that it aims to do next year. Following a storied tradition in academic brilliance, our student performed marvelously in the IIT JE, NEET and CUET with Master Abhineet Singh securing 99.98 percentile and being crowned the city topper. Our students' achievements in the national examinations, including KVPY, NSTSE and Olympiads, including IEO and NSO, have been extremely impressive. Performance says in such Olympiads, including the KVPY, is a strong predictor of success in competitive examinations like IIT, JE, and NEET. And each of our top KVPY rankers from classes 10th and 11th is a highly successful future engineer, doctor, or scientist. Year after year, our students have set remarkable benchmarks that we have to continue to live up to, which is evidenced by the fact that in the academic year of 2021-22, 120 students scored 90% and above in class 12th board examinations, and 135 students scored 90% and above in class 10th board examinations. In Sanbeam Bhagwanpur, we breed achievers. Shorjit Mohanty and Bharti Singh emerged as city toppers of their streams in class 12 board examinations and 26 students scored a perfect score of 100 in different subjects in class 10th board examinations. Ben Franklin said, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. Sanbeam Bhagwanpur takes hands-on learning seriously. This is why we will soon be starting with in-house uh, training for various competitive examinations including CUET, IIT, NEET, etc. and will be introducing more skill-based subjects in the curriculum. At the same time, in order to teach practical concepts, Sanbeam Bhagwanpur has exclusively equipped all labs for different subjects, be it computer or physics or robotics, we like to believe in proving concepts. We learn best when we are shown rather than told. All classes have been equipped with new interactive flat panels that illustrate concepts ranging from photosynthesis to trade balances and computer networks to hill topology. When Sunbeam Bhagwanpur integrates learning into classrooms, learning becomes fun. As the year draws to a close, we are proud of what we have achieved, yet hungry for more. We are at the constant lookout for new opportunities. We do not believe in resting on our laurels. We are Sanbeam Bhagwanpur. And I now invite the head boy Sanbeam Bhagwanpur, Apoorv Singh, to walk us through the co-curricular achievements of the past year. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, Ishita. Good afternoon and Jai to this auspicious gathering. Adding to what Ishita just said, Sanbeam Bhagwanpur is one of the pillars in academics. It's just not synonymous with academics. I love to tell you that over the years, Sanbeam Bhagwanpur has produced winners in just not Olympiads, but different quizzes, tech expos, debate competitions, and many more. This year, ATL has been at the forefront of achievements, as they have groomed many students who have performed marvelously on a national and international stage. One event such as Inspire Manak, Youth Idathon, Hack J Kill You, just to name a few. 
Bhagwan Pur being one of the veterans in the quizzing circuit of North India, this year was no different as the young generation of quizzes stacked multiple trophies in national and international competition. They also repeated history by winning the regional chapter of prestigious Metals and Materials Quiz hosted by IIT Bechu Metallurgy Department. In addition to this, Sunbeam Bhagwanpur also sent their teams to different conclaves such as Sunfest, Comfest, Kofas, Mayo, where a team performed extremely well, winning multiple events like SIS Mumbai Debate, Quizart, which was an online cryptic hunt. In addition to this, Sunbeam Bhagwanpur focused on the East students' holistic development. This year, we hosted multiple in house events that were exclusive to the Sunbeam Bhagwanpur student pool, such as Zeal and Mashal, which was a sports fest held in Sunbeam Bhagwanpur, which was student sponsored driven endeavors. We also had uh, student driven in international conclaves, such as NER, which amassed a lot of students coming from different schools. And how can we forget the second iteration of TEDx Youth Sunbeam Bhagwanpur, which garnered nearly 40,000 live views? and featured seasoned veterans from all walks of life. As this year comes to an end, I would like to say Sunbeam Bhagwanpur is rising higher than it has ever has and we are still pushing ourselves to be the very best. Thank you and Jai Hind everyone and have a nice day. Over to Vibha ma'am. Thank you Ishita and Apurv. And as my students just shared with you all their achievement, I take immense pride in sharing with you all that our chairman sir has recently received the Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution in the field of education. Also, Sunbeam Group and Sunbeam Bhagwanpur received the Brain Feed Excellence Award 2022-23. Teachers can change lives. Yes, you can clap. Thank you so much. Teachers can change lives with the just the right mix of chalk and challenges. Everyone who remembers his or her own education remembers teachers and not their methods and techniques. We are very aware that teachers are the heart of the education system. And ladies and gentlemen, we are fortunate enough to have the best of the education industry with us who join hands with me in making classroom a happy place to be. Continuous professional development for the staff members has been the major focus and with pleasure I inform you all that all the teachers have completed 50 hours of training suggested by CBSC. Our teachers also went to National Testing Agency at Delhi for training and contributed in making question pool for common undergraduate entrance test. Now I call upon Ms. Vartika Yadav to share with you all her experience as a teacher at Bhagwanpur and I'm sure when she speaks, she will speak she will speak on behalf of the 200 teachers on board with us and before that I just welcome our honorary director Mr. Harsh Madhok amongst us. Welcome sir. Maybe there is a road ahead of it. Maybe there is a new world down the road. Walking forth is the only plight because we didn't come this far just for the sake of it. With this thought on behalf of the preacher fraternity of Sanbeam Bhagwanpur, I, Vartika Yadav, seek great contentment to reflect upon the learning of the session 2022-23. Well, half of my joy and excitement comes from the fact that we are being able to hold annual function after two years. But though not the annual functions, there were several other events and engagements that we were be able to be part of and host in ways we had not known before COVID. In short, it can be rightly said that the learning never stopped. Not only we explored different arenas, but we teachers also gained recognition which fueled our motivation for further learning. I was more than happy to receive the Language Expert Award and I'm sure my fellow colleagues share the same joy with me since they have been abundantly recognized for their achievements. The school also equipped teachers with better technological resources such as interactive flat panels which are an absolute necessity in doing our best for our children. And for this, on behalf of all the teachers, I would like to thank Deepak sir and Bharti ma'am and all the administrators for leading the way to dive into the unexplored potentialities. The school organized different workshops of all the subjects from time to time, 
which was facilitated by educational experts like Ms. Vanita Uppal, Mr. Manish Chen, Ms. Saloni Priya and Mr. Vikramjeet Ruprai that helped us in systematic recapitulation of concepts. Also, elaborate teachers training workshop was conducted to make the teachers acquainted with POXO rules and regulations. And while we are at it, let me tell you, all our holistic well-being also is taken care by the school. I am so glad to say that activities like Teachers Day, Teachers Carnival, Satsang, Teacher Appreciation Awards and Initiative for the Health and Mental Well-being of the Teachers by organizing yoga classes and health checkup camps are all reasons why working at Sanbeam Bhagwanpur in the capacity of a teacher is immensely enriching and rewarding. Now, I wonder if so much was explored in a year, how much could a teacher learn from this institution in 8 years, which is the number of years I have been associated with Sanbeam Bhagwanpur. It is their visionary, inspiring and encouraging leadership that help us to continue in our expedition to excellence in the field of education. I thank all the Almighty to guide us through these 50 years. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, Vartika ma'am. On this note, I welcome Chairman Sir Amit Tass. Welcome, sir. And now, it's time to hear from the most important stakeholder, that is, a member of the parent fraternity. Because, after all, you are our biggest critics, but also our best cheerleaders. I welcome Mrs. Monica Singh, mother of Master Shushrut Sengar of KG2, and Master Aksha Singh Sengar of 8th E. Welcome, ma'am. Good afternoon, and Jai Hind. Thank you, Sunbeam School, for choosing me as a parent to read the report, parent report. Leaving a two and a half year old child with the strangers, it's not easy. I'm sure many, or in fact, most of you sitting here will agree with me on this. Yes, I was afraid when Sushrut walked through the gates of Sunbeam Bhagwanpur for the first time. A million questions ran through my mind, but I had made the choice to trust the teachers, the management, the school, and so left my child behind, perhaps for the first time ever. And trust me when I say it was not even 10.30 by watch, and I was there at the gate waiting for my child, thinking all thoughts, how will I console him? Maybe I will give him a chocolate so that he stopped crying, but there, walk, but there walked my boy holding his teacher's hand, all smiles and giggles. And that what was the last day doubt ever crossed my mind. Thank you, Sunbeam, for keeping my trust. Today, when I stand here to talk about my experience as a parent of infect about Sunbeam, I was not tell you all about the activity my child does and how his academic is taken care of. Well, I'm sure by now all of you have experienced it. What I'm more thankful to the Sunbeam School for is the way they are nurturing my child. I came to school every morning and I see how uh, every morning and I see and I know there are, chil there are children who are not at work either physically or mentally with others but they play together, eat together, study together. And that teacher then teaches my child to emphasize, to become emotionally intelligent, and to understand and respect the differences. We all talk about building an inclusive society, but thank you, Sunbeam, for making my child ready for the inclusive society. Thank you for helping me raise up an emotionally intelligent, strong human being and ready to contribute as a global citizen. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your views and all the faith you have put in us. Also today from this platform, I would like to share our future plans with you all. In-house training for various competitive exams, IIT, NEET, COET, etc. Special focus, special focus on the enhancement of 21st century skills in students, introduction of more skill-based subjects in the curriculum, international teachers exchange program for capacity building. In addition to this, 
all branches of sunbeam will be fully air conditioned by the next session while it might seem easy to stand here and read out the success story of our school there is a lot of hard work that goes into it and i can't thank enough the sunbeam board members the qc r and d team all the admins of bhagwanpur motivated teachers our dedicated staff members students and parents for their unstinted support and guidance and thank you team sun city for your unconditional support always the city which has given sunbeam so much has inspired service to the community from rigorous cleaning of the assi ghat by the sunbeams every year to the heritage walk at anand kanan and the amrit mahotsav vatika at the airport sunbeam has been at the forefront of csr towards kashi now i conclude with a request dear parents when you walk out of this place today do not miss avimukt kashi darshan a miniature of kashi ghats at sunbeam sun city with mini sculptures of all sunbeam institutions with this ladies and gentlemen i give you soch 2022 let's begin this beautiful journey of kal aaj aur kal thank, thank you, you. jai hind thank you ma'am thank you everyone